And I'm going to talk about skull base lesions today. Hi friends, I am Dr. Harsh Dhar. I am a head and neck and skull base surgeon working at Manipal Hospitals, Calcutta. Uh, I'm going to talk about skull base lesions today. So what is skull base? It's a very uh, rare kind of a cancer. And why we are talking about it? Because the amount of awareness regarding this disease entity is very low in our community at large because these cancers are rare. But having said that, there is good treatment in today's day and age. Skull base cancers are basically tumors which are located either at the base of the skull in the front and between the nasal cavity or they could also be located near the base of the skull laterally and adjoining the ear part. These tumors normally present, how do they present? They normally affect people of slightly elder age, you know, above 50 or 60 age group. Some tumors like esthesia neuroblastomas, these can have a bimodality age presentation also. That is, it can present in the second or third decade or it can present in the fifth and sixth decade also. If it is affecting the front of the nasal part or in the front of the skull base, then normally the first symptom that a patient feels is there could be an obstruction to breathing, there could be bleeding from the nasal cavity and most importantly, there could be loss of smell. Suppose it is a skull base tumor of the lateral skull base, then the symptoms could be an ear discharge, a reduced hearing, which can also be with other ear infections. But here again, this is many a times, this is uh, mixed also with vertigo and sudden hearing loss. The diagnosis, we come to the diagnosis. The diagnosis is mostly, first of all, we do uh, an OPD based evaluation. We either do an endoscopy of the nose. Nowadays, we can even do endoscopy of the ear canal. After that, we do a scans. Scans could be anything from a CT scan or an MRI. Mostly both are done because both gives us a lot of information regarding where the tumor is located, where it is arising from and where it is spreading to. Once we have the scans, we then go in for a biopsy if you're suspecting a malignancy. Not all of these skull based tumors are frankly malignant. Some could be benign as well and some are malignant. So a biopsy is essential. Once the biopsy is done, then the treatment planning is considered. Majority of skull based tumors, especially the anterior skull based tumors, which arise from in and around the nasal cavity and are going up or are arising from the skull base and coming down, majority of them nowadays are treated with surgery. Biopsy is essential for all skull based tumors because based upon the biopsy, the treatment protocol may change. Some lesions we operate first, whereas in others, there is a very good role of chemotherapy and radiation. So biopsy is a must. In the olden days, surgery would be very morbid. You would have to cut open the face, you would have to open the head, do a craniotomy, lift up the brain and all of that and it was a very morbid procedure. Patient had to be admitted for a very long time in ventilation, in ICU and the results were also very morbid. But nowadays, with the advent of good endoscopic work, good visualization, stereotactic navigation, all of this can be attempted purely endoscopically and in very few cases, we need to do a combined approach wherein we have a neurosurgery team that opens the brain from top and we have the skull base team or the endoscopic team which approaches the tumor from below. So with good equipment, with good skills, as a team, we are able to take out the entire tumor and limit the morbidity and the complications of surgery for our patient. We are very happy to say that here at Manipal Hospitals, we have a very good combined team between the head and neck team the ENT and the neurosurgery team which together form what we call as the skull base unit and we are treating patients of skull base here. So if ever anybody in your 
surrounding family and your friends has something to do with the skull based tumor you can reach out to us and remember treatment is possible if taken at the right time